anywhere here, you can type in something. Or say the blank line above data options. Type in save, S-A-V-E, and no spaces, basin, B-A-S-I-N, map, M-A-P, equals true. And maybe with a capital T. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and now <laughs> let's, uh, let's change the dates for the winter months. So we, we can do exactly okay. Let's let's do this from maybe the first of yeah January. Yeah, oh. first of January is good, and then maybe till the first of April. So one four, and let's change that initial file that we used. So scroll down slightly. So rather than loading the two thousand one zero two thousand ten zero six zero one, we'll load yeah, the two thousand ten. We the other one. I think it's zero one zero one at the end. Oh, yeah, I let's think check. two, but yeah, let's check. Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. And so the save base and map equals true will make one of the outputs uh, a GeoTIFF file of the shape of the base and map, which we're right now generating just using the location of the outlet of the basin. So we okay. will come out with a TIFF file of the rasterized or pixelized version of the Danube Basin, which we'll then use in the next uh, video when we're discussing comparing with Grace. Okay. But since we have to run... Maybe it just... Yeah, perfect. Yeah, make a call. Just yeah. for... <laughs> sure. Okay, let's save this and run the model again. Actually, we have one of the command prompts already open. Oh. So, mm -hmm. the one on the right, yeah. So now just do the up arrow. Yeah, and then push enter. We can do this together. It's fun. Let's see what happens. Data handling. Okay, can we go into the GitHub see what M? Uh, yeah, and go into the folder. Yep. You mean mine folder? Yep, perfect. Yeah, this ah, repository, okay. show and explore. Mm -hmm. Uh, go see what M. Management modules. Data handling. Yeah. Let's go yeah. to line, like really scroll down, 1656. Oh, wow. Um, 1000. 1000? 600. 656. Okay, see where it says NP dot in right mm -hmm. here? Just remove Plot. all the NP dot. Okay. okay we because say... it says that this uh, NumPy package doesn't have this uh, exactly. function anymore. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, let's save this. And then. Let's and then go back to the terminal and uh, go exit, open bracket, close bracket. Yeah, and then up arrow, up arrow. Okay. Enter. I try. Awesome. Okay. Great. You've done your first edit okay. of the code, Sylvia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that felt great. <laughs> <laughs> felt great. Um, okay. Can you go to the GitHub and see what M? 
Um, yeah, can you unclick water cycles? Here. Yeah. Okay, can you change the branch actually to develop? And it's going to say, le no, and click on bring my changes to develop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you, uh, at the bottom left, can you click commit to develop? Okay, you want to update. Mm -hmm. To commit. I want to see to what change. happens if you try to do this. Commit to develop. And then can you click push origin in the top right? It says you don't have right access. So I want yeah. to, I will get you right access. But actually, this is great, actually. We can try this. Can you go fork this repository? So what you're doing is you're... Yeah, go fork this repository. Yeah. yeah. What does it mean, fork repository? It means you will create a, you are taking a version of the model mm -hmm. under somehow your profile. So this is going to be Sylvia's version of CWATM. Okay, because then you don't have the right have to the right modify access. the main one. Mm -hmm. But you want to, and then click contribute to parent project. So what we're then going to do is you're going to, so push origin. There's a lot of things that we can repeat here at later work by accident we're going through many things <laughs> no but i think i'm, I'm following <laughs> okay good um okay so now if i go to my profile there should be yeah so let's go to your so profile I'm... on github oh. Okay, so you see in this left, yeah, perfect. You see yeah, here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now go, go to this one. You can click it. Developers had recent pushes. Um, main branches and connect. Here. Okay, can you go to pull requests? Uh, towards the left. Uh, actually, try this, this one. one. Try this one. Yeah, this will like notify everyone of the change right not yet scroll up slightly okay we see choose two branches to see what's changed to start a new pull request but we want to do this across forks so mm -hmm. can you go compare across forks it's, it's highlighted in blue just above you yeah perfect okay base develop to compare develop okay Let's, okay, so what this is saying is you're comparing your develop, I think, to the develop that you came from, the base. Can you go create pull request? Okay, so Sil Art one wants to merge one commit. Scroll up slightly. I just want to read this. Yes, I see. One, okay, so Sil wants to merge one commit into ES to develop from SIL art develop. That's exactly what we want. So you won't overwrite anything. What this is saying is you are requesting to make an update from your fork to this fork. Yeah. Okay, let's scroll down slightly. So it says that a review is required, merging is blocked. So you will make, uh, scroll down slightly again. Oh, okay, fine. This is as far as you can go. I should now have written. I think yeah, I think someone should uh, okay. approve it. I will now share my screen. Back to code. Okay, so I go to my EASA CWATM. I'm going to pull requests. Update data handling. Yeah. Okay. Let's commit. Add your review. View changes.
I'm going to merge the pull request, confirm the merge. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. So now if we go to C1M, uh, go back to develop branch. It's labyrinth. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a labyrinth. Okay, we see it here, merge pull request. I hear the commits, 521 commits. Okay, look, so you are now, you have made your first commit into C1M. You are now a C1M developer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's interesting that that was necessary for you to run it on your computer, but not necessary for me to run it on mine. Even so, if we have the same fight on version? Yeah. Uh, something made a difference. It's a, in this case, um, we're still learning. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, it led to a curious learning. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we run the model. You have the model. Do you want to share your screen finally? Uh, can you go to the terminal that was running CWADM? Okay, yep. great. It's finished. Um, can we go to the outputs? So now there should be the map, right? Yeah, exactly. Scroll yeah. down, it'll look different than the other ones. Yeah. Okay, sorry. No problem. Um, Scroll down slightly here. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. I was already here. And there it is, right there, the basin.tiff. So we will use this next time. Okay.